Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Travel day, everyone. We are here, checking in for JetBlue, off to Costa Rica. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time for adventures. Gio here and? Juan Carlos. Yes, we will see you guys in a moment. All right, so we made it through security, everyone. We are now seated. Wilderness. Summer. <laughs> He's serenading us. Um, you can't keep going though, we'll get demonetized for copyright violations. <laughs> so a little bit of advice, uh, traveling here or anywhere, if you're traveling to Costa Rica, uh, specifically, you need to have what's called a Pasa de Salud, which is a QR code, I'll show you mine. Looks something like that. Thank you. So if you're traveling to Costa Rica, you need to have what's called the Pasa de Salud, which is a health pass. And right now, as of December of 2021, if you are fully vaccinated, you upload your vaccine card and you then are admitted into the country. If you are not vaccinated, you can still travel there, but you are required to purchase a health insurance policy for the length of your stay. And when you do all of that, they give you a QR code. When you check in at the airport and you check your bags, the uh, gate agent, or not the gate agent, but the uh, ticket agent is supposed to stamp your, uh, your ticket so that when you go through security, they will let you through. Well, in my case, that didn't happen at JetBlue. I checked my bags, went to go to security. Juan Carlos's thing was stamped with a little red check. So off he went and back I went. And the lines right now during the holidays are crazy. So a bit of advice to you is make sure that your paper ticket is stamped and or if you're using the app, they mark it somehow so that security will let you through because otherwise you aren't getting through. So it took me another 15 minutes of going back and to get the stamp. Just a little FYI. So we're here super early, nerdy early, because my husband loves to be early. It's something I have to be early at the airport. I had many, many, many opportunities where not being early was a disaster, so <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So because we left so early and our Uber actually arrived almost 20 minutes early, when we were just about to have some breakfast at home, we didn't get to have breakfast at the house, so we are going to brave the little food and wine restaurant here in the airport, being as cautious as we can with our masks and eating. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. We need some sustenance. So next stop, the plane, and then Costa Rica. So travel day, fun day, right, Amora? Travel day is not my, my fun day, but... I'll be at home in Costa Rica, so that's my fun day. <laughs> Ultimately, it's the destination. We used to love traveling, but traveling during the pandemic, it's a little more challenging, um, but we're making the best of it. All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> I mean... What? I mean, probably it's good. It just looks a little sad. But it's fine, something just to, some sustenance for the, for the day. And then when we get home, my mom has some OJ carne ready for us. So that will be our treat. All right, everyone, we are on board. Next stop, home to Costa Rica. Yes, after uh -huh. like two hours and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's quick. Yeah quick flight from Fort Lauderdale, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be back in Costa Rica, spending Christmas with family. We're bringing a lot. Yeah, <laughs> this is the most luggage we've ever traveled with, which is, yeah, so <laughs> coming home will be empty suitcases. Yeah, the, the thing is, I'm bringing things that I've been wanting to bring for the last year and I couldn't, just couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, so, but anyway, looking forward to getting there and uh, We'll see you on the ground, everyone. What's up, Jeff Blue? Popcorners used to be a big bag. Now you get like four. <laughs> On behalf of all of us here at JetBlue, especially the Fort Lauderdale-based crew, do you thank you for joining JetBlue? All right, we are here, Costa Rica! Yay. <laughs> all right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a few days later, 
here in the house in Costa Rica. Uh, we wanted to get settled in, visit with family, all of that good stuff. So we didn't really vlog that. So welcome back. We're back to vlogging. Um, so yeah, today's now Friday. So we actually arrived on Monday. I've been working all week. He's been working. Um, so yeah, the good thing is, is that we both can do work from home. So it allows us when we're traveling to bring our work with us. So that's what I've been doing, but now it's morning on Friday and we were just debating, hmm, what should we have for breakfast? And Juan Carlos is in the kitchen. We went to the store the other day and we found a loaf of um, raisin bread. So we're going to cook up some uh, homemade French toast, which sounds really delicious. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then, uh, yeah, so you get to have another little home vlog with us. So let's go to the kitchen. See what's going on, shall we? What's happening? We're seeing the desayun. Yeah? I was telling everybody that we picked up this loaf of, uh, it's raisin bread, right? It's raisin bread. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually from our favorite little bakery up the street, which is called, what's it called again? Artepan. Artepan, yeah. So, oh, it's already sliced. Look at that. See? It's already sliced. Oh, yummy, mm. yummy, yummy. Perfectly sliced. Perfect. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna work in there. We're gonna whip up some eggs and some milk and some cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna cook it on the stove or in the oven? Mm, in the oven. Yeah, you wanna bake it instead? Yeah. We don't have anything to coat it with though. Why don't I'll do it on the stove. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Traditional way. Right. All right. By the way, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. So if you ever, it happens all the time, by the way, when you crack eggs and there's always that one little tiny piece of an eggshell that gets in, rather than grabbing a spoon or your fingers, use the actual broken part of the eggshell. So look, there's actually a piece of eggshell down in here. And I don't know why, but when you use the egg shell itself, it's easier to remove see a little trick I learned that from my grandmother years ago I don't know why that works but it works there you go all right so we're gonna whip this up erase my fingers Get the egg yolk off don't want to cross contaminate so the way we do our French toast is um, I'm doing four eggs it seems a lot actually but we like an eggy French toast and on the esta, con leche or milk. And yeah, down here in Costa Rica, our milk comes in these kind of cartons. I don't measure, it's all like sort of by memory. So I think that's pretty good. And then we're gonna get our cinnamon, the big cinnamon, because you can tell we like to use cinnamon. Did you cook on a Mm -hmm. A little bit of cinnamon, and then I need to get uh, a sugar, which I'll be right back. And again, sugar is to your taste. Uh, we like to use, this is an all natural brown sugar, which is better than the white um, sugar. So not that sugar is healthy anyway, but it's a little healthier. So I like to use a couple tablespoons of sugar in our mixture and then I use a fork we do have a whisk but I can get in there better with a fork whiskey this is real good we whip it up get it all mixed in and it's interesting the cinnamon always is a challenge it, when you put it it just kind of rests and floats on top so you really gotta whip it in there And you want to really beat it up and it helps to do that because it helps the eggs get a little fluffier and makes your French toast just a little bit fluffier. Or at least that's what I was taught growing up. You know, grandmas, they teach us good things, right? Mm -hmm. And not pretty good. Oh, you want a little nutmeg in there? Mm -hmm. Sure, a little nutmeg. Um, also, vanilla is really good in your French toast. 
And we bought this vanilla a couple of years ago. This is, comes from Mexico. Mexico. And not a lot of vanilla, but just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla, as they say here in Costa Rica. And then we're going to use some Nuez Moscada, Molida, or in English, ground nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. Okay. And again, just a little bit. You don't want a lot because it's a little overpowering. There we go. And mix that in. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And then from there, all we're going to do is take our bread and you're going to dip it in. Let it sit in there. Submerge it if you can. Beautiful. Flip it over. You want to let it absorb in there a little bit. You could do your French toast a couple different ways. We're doing it here, uh, stovetop. So we're using a frying pan. We're gonna put some butter in the pan and then just uh, put your French toast in there and cook it that way. We also like to do it in the oven. And we learned that way from um, Chef Lorena Garcia, the owner of um, Chica. Chica Restaurant down in Miami and in Las Vegas. And what she does is she takes her French toast and once you dip it in your egg batter, you take some crushed up cornflakes or crushed up raisin bran, whatever, and you sort of panko crust the outside of your bread, put it on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven. And that's a really, really delicious, crispy way of doing your French toast too. But we're not doing that here because we don't have the uh, cereal crumbs. So we're gonna put some butter in the pan real quick. There we go. Whip up a couple more here. Mm. Where is smells good. <laughs> it, yeah, you can. As we say here in Costa Rica, huele rico, which means mm -hmm, smells good, like Juan Carlos said. Yeah, huele rico. That was fast. We'll cook up these first four. And there we go. We'll see you in a minute. We'll get these whipped up and we'll uh, share with you the final results. And my husband is making some homemade apple spread, uh -huh. sort of like an applesauce. So tell yeah. everybody, what did you do? It's really easy. I just put the um, um, the apple in the oven for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then I put some butter in the ramekin, mm -hmm. um, cinnamon, and I added a little bit of Look at we have an Jemima, everyone. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of syrup. We found that at our local grocery store down here, and I was like, oh, we gotta buy some. Yeah. So that's it, and then I just sort of smashing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just slices up the apples, throws them in the uh, toaster oven for a few minutes, and there you go. Yummy, okay. delicious to add on top of our <gasps> dun, 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 French, French toast. toast. So there you go. Very wintery fall. <laughs> Yep, a little exciting morning breakfast of us here in Costa Rica. French toast, you know, it's very Costa Rican to eat. <laughs> but we've been eating traditional all week because Mama has made us oja de carne, which you've seen on the channel. When we got off the plane, we had that waiting for us. She made us the following morning for breakfast. We had scrambled eggs and gaijo pinto. Another favorite, gaijo pinto is a dish here in Costa Rica, which is basically rice and beans. And you have it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Pretty much a staple. We had that. And we've course. also had her famous... Uh, I can't... Oh. Arepas. Oh, yeah. She made Not homemade... Churras, churras. Churriadas. She made homemade churriadas. And she also made the potatoes. The ah, si, el picadillo. Picadillo potatoes, which you serve out a tortilla. So I'm going to learn how to make that on this trip. So we'll show you picadillo. We might bring Mama back onto the vlog because uh, you guys seem to really like that when we do that. So we're going to go eat our French toast now. And of course. Oh, yeah, coffee. Mm -hmm. Staple here in Costa Rica. All right, we'll see you guys later. We're going to go enjoy our breakfast. Yay. So we just came back from Juan Carlos's parents' house, and we just loaded up the car. Just loaded our new tree into the back of the car with a little pot. I don't think that pot's deep enough. I don't know. It's temporary anyway. Yeah. We're going to find a um, bigger one. 
Oh, look, Juan Carlos is uh, decking the halls. Mm -hmm. There's our stockings. We're going to be putting up the tree this weekend, hopefully. But we have a new uh, tree to plant in the front or on the side or in the backyard. We're not quite sure we want to put it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant it in a pot. And then we're going to kind of move it around, kind of get a feel for where we think it might fit. And then we'll actually dig into the ground and plant it. But yeah, we're excited that she purchased that for us. It's a nice gift for our house. Always nice to have a new tree. So let's walk outside and I'll show it to you because I showed you a little clip of it in the back of the car. But now that we got it out of the car, here it is. So uh, yeah, we have this small little square pot that we're gonna put it in. Let's see, you can see it a little better. And we do have, we have a couple small ones that we've planted in the yard, really little, like over here. You can see that one. And then we got this little tiny one down here. You see that? And then we have in the front of the house over here, we have a bougainvillea that we have in a pot that we haven't put in the ground yet. And it's kind of looking a little sad right now. She was full of flowers just a few weeks ago when they, and they go through this. Yeah, it's kind of going stage. through that stage of losing they, all of her leaves and flowers. And then but they come back. Hopefully it'll come back. Oh yeah. So we have, we have a few of these. What kind of, do you know what the names of these are? Huh? Some sort of pino. Pino, I guess. So anyway, we're going to put it in the pot. And um, well, we'll see. I'm not sure where we want to ultimately plant it. Ooh, it's getting bright out. Beautiful day here in Costa Rica. Temperatures in the 70s. Uh, clouds are rolling in. You know, we're up here in the mountains. Yeah. We have another one here in a pot, too, that's all decorated. His mom and sister decorated this so that when we got here we had a little tree outside all decorated it was a nice little surprise it's cute and then Juan Carlos hung up our little advent calendar on the door cute and then we have our little welcome gnome <laughs> our little abode here in Costa Rica love good gloves so we're going to find out exactly what the name of this plant is. I have this app. It's called Picture This, by the way. So it's pretty cool. So look, you just hit on this little, your camera icon. And there you can see we got the plant. We're going to take a picture of it. And then there you go. And it tells us that this is a Chinese arbor vitae or Chinese thuha or a biota, or an oriental thuha. So there you go, and it gives you all the details. It's a great little app because it gives you a description, tips on how to garden it, what, you know, things you might wanna know. And basically you can take this app, we use it all the time, take a picture of something that we like if we see it out and we want it for our yard so that we can go and find it and bring it home. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna plant it. So we're actually using a couple of years ago, we had a compost that we did in the backyard. And so we're actually using the actual compost that we made. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are planted. So you were saying what? She likes the sun, so yeah. we need to put it probably on that side there or out here what do you think over there mm, let's try here because we don't have a lot here yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so we're gonna put it here for now and see how we like it there all right well there there she is for now that's that's spot number one yeah we're gonna see how she likes it here. We like the idea of having it out here on the front of the house so that as it grows, it'll kind of really fill in this area. I think it'll be beautiful. Yeah, the whole idea to have it in a pot is that we will see where we like it better and mm -hmm. where she likes it better. Because yeah, it's I explained that to them. Her. Yeah. And then we'll, yeah, we'll decide where to actually. That we were gonna try it in a few different spots. So 
Yeah. Very excited that his mom picked that up for us. What a nice little pre-Christmas gift for us. And we're going to put some ornaments on it, you know, because it's kind of Christmassy, right? Sound good? Yeah. yeah. All right. See you in a bit. And after doing all that manual labor, oh, we're wore out, aren't we? <laughs> Not really. That was fun. Uh, but my husband pulled out a treat. He did what he called a reveal. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have, Amor? Tell everyone. Torta chilena. <gasps> Torta chilena. Show them. So, it's called um, milojas or thousand leaves, and it's very popular here in Costa Rica. We call it torta chilena uh, because it's like a, the Tico version of uh, thousand leaves from the from the Chilean food, um, and it's pretty good. It's mm. a lot of um, dulce de leche and the frosting, and the layers are made of. Uh, Caramel. Yes. <laughs> it's very delicious and very rich. So it's a nice little look at it. It's not actually a thousand layers, but you know, you get it. Mm -hmm. And as he said, it comes from Chile originally. Well, this is a Costa Rica version. Mm -hmm. This is really moist. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it could be dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got it at a spoon. Spoon, which is a chain restaurant here in Costa Rica, one of our favorites. As far as chains go, mm -hmm. it's like a chain soda. And if you don't know what soda is, I think we've mentioned it on the channel before. How would you describe a soda as a Costa Rican? It's like a diner. Mm -hmm. um, a little, just a, yeah, it's like a diner because you go, you get um, breakfast or lunch or dinner. You can find sandwiches, soups, salads. Um, Wraps. Yeah, they're all very small, but it's traditional Costa Rican food. So you're going to find your Tico typical dishes like casados. Uh, you're going to find your gallo pinto, olla de carne, all of the, you know, the dishes that you can. So if you're ever in Costa Rica and you're in a small town and you see a restaurant that has maybe three or four tables or even maybe up to 10 tables, very small, mm -hmm. go because that's a soda. It's local. And you're going to get authentic, traditional food. We'll have to try to take you guys to a, a traditional soda. We'll go. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll do a whole video on a soda in the future. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to enjoy our torta chilena. That sounded really funny coming from <laughs> the gringo. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Ciao. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. We know it's a little departure from what we typically do. It's a little hodgepodgey in the sense that you got to see a little snippet of us traveling to Costa Rica. And then we took a few days to just spend time with family and get reassociated with our house down here. Uh, we both had some work to do, so we hope uh, you'll understand that and forgive us for not vlogging during that period of time. Sometimes it's important to just be in the moment, especially when you're with family and you haven't seen them for a long time. And it can be a little invasive, to be honest, grabbing that camera and putting it in people's faces. So, so we opted to take a few days and just kind of chill with our family, relax, get acclimated back to life here in Costa Rica. And, uh, and then now we're bringing you a little bit about what it's like for us on a day-to-day -day basis here. Hope you enjoyed our French toast recipe. It was very delicious. We enjoyed that. Uh, we're super excited about our new little tree out front. Uh, it seems to be really liking that spot, by the way. Um, so we may eventually put it in the ground. Uh, and by the way, if you see, we put it in a pot and we put it on top of, you can see there's a tree stump there. That's actually not a tree that was there before. Uh, those are from a tree that was cut down. We have several of those that we just placed in the yard uh, and they're good placeholders for putting things on. So that's actually not a tree stump that was cut down here. That's from somewhere else. And we just use those decoratively, just to clarify. Um, so we got a lot more coming to you from Costa Rica. As you can see over my shoulder, it's been a couple days later. We now put up our Christmas tree. Super excited about that. So we've got all our decorations up. It's beginning to feel a little festive here. Again, we're keeping it really small just with our immediate family. We hope whatever you're doing for the holidays, however you celebrate, that you enjoy yourself as well. Uh, this is definitely a week to embrace family and friends. And if you're unable to gather for whatever reasons, uh, reach out to them virtually or on your phone uh, and make sure you let everybody know how you feel about them. That's always important. 
So as we always say, happiness is a lifestyle, and I appreciate you guys watching. So does Juan Carlos. By the way, he's out working it out. As you can see in the video, he's getting pretty buff. He and his sister do CrossFit, so that's where they're at right now. I'll throw in a little clip here. So as part of the activities that I do every time that I come back home to Costa Rica, it's CrossFit, and she is the responsible for this. I <laughs> um, I learned to like CrossFit. I used to hate it, but thanks to her bringing me the time, I, I actually, actually enjoy it. And this is the first time that I'm in, the, in a CrossFit box in three months. So we'll see how it goes today. See? See? Ready? Well, that was hard. I mean, it's been three months. I've been going to the gym, the just regular gym, since I came back to the United States. And now I started again with uh, CrossFit, and that was hard. <laughs> it was exhausting. See? See. So we're um, on our way back home, and I have to take a shower because I'm very sweaty. And tomorrow will be another day, another workout. We'll see how it goes. I didn't um, really uh, film a lot there because there was no like place for me to put the um, the phone. So maybe uh, tomorrow I'll do try to do some more with the actual phone somewhere. We'll see. Bye. Bye. Can you see how hard he's working out? Amazing. So super proud of him. Anyway. We are going to go now and uh, continue watching the channel. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. As always, hit that bell notification, put comments below, give us a little thumbs up if you can. And, you know, we really appreciate all of you who watch us. Until next time, everyone, happy holidays and peace out.